earthquakes, floods. The economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. But a lot of the blame went to mutants, Homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. So now we've got these purifier cults springing up everywhere. They say they're humanity saviors. Well, someone's got to do it. We X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. One man could have brought sense and sanity out of this chaos. But Charles Xavier is dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. The Professor's dream died on that day. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. But Mr. Summers, what about the school? Right here, right now, the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. The government's Mutant Response Division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Comm satellite into orbit above the city. Commander Reyes, do you think the MRD presence here will defuse the tension, restore some kind of normalcy to the city? That's our role. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Everyone lists Magneto among the missing, but he's still out there. He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who will be the voice of reason? Today is about the future. A future we have chosen to face together, human and mutant alike. San Francisco has opened its arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Today, the future begins with a gesture of trust on both sides. I am proud to stand alongside the X-Men's leader, Cyclops, and the mayor of San Francisco as we move the city toward integration of our mutant and human communities. The group that I represent, the Mutant Response Division, we are not warriors, we are peace keepers. The peace we build here is precious and must be protected. I would like to call upon Cyclops, formerly of the Xavier Academy for Gifted Youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. I'll speak plainly, and I'll keep it short. The choice, the choice we all face is between peaceful coexistence and blind hatred. Charles Xavier died on the street. We have to live with it. You mark my word, your turn's gonna come! We have to choose a side, make a stand. The apathy of the many is as destructive as the malice of the few. It's time we remember that we're one people, united by our shared humanity. Your genes don't decide your destiny. You do. We all do.